All right, so for anyone watching, I'm assuming this is live. Um, it's probably going to be a lot of silence, but the goal is to set up the Raspberry Pi 4 that's running Dragon OS Pi 6, or um, can't even think, uh, Dragon OS Pi 64. And uh, so it'll stream the Lime SDR over using this Still Suite and GNU Radio over the network. Uh, I'll probably have the, the bandwidth set at 10, sample rate at 10, and that'll stream over the network to the laptop, which is in the background in this view, and that'll do the processing locally, um, ultimately for uh, getting ACARS messages. So, let's see. Oh, okay, so I see... Uh, let's see, can you guys hear me now? Alright, so good audio. Alright, so anyways, this is the Pi, and I'm, I've got so many cables and keyboards and stuff around here, let me think. So, this is the Pi that you're looking at right now. What you would do is user source still sweet. This is part of the package deal here. New radio companion. And we take a look at uh, this particular flow graph here. This is like the default. It's going to look something like this. It's got your soapy lime SDR source to a ZMQ sync. And you can see it's got the 127001, so that's not going to work for me. And we see our sample rate and center frequency. Now, really, what you would do here is, uh, and this, this should all be like headless. You see there's a no GUI is set here. So this would be all headless, basically. And what you would, what you would do, ideally, is you'd you'd run it like this python 3 lime you'd run this everything's kind of going on in the background you open up another source still sweet and if anyone's typing I, I I have monitors all over the place so I'm probably not seeing but uh, let me think on this end python 3 still sweet with FFT but for some reason I don't think I actually had anything in the FFT and, and I'll have to mess around with this a little bit more but here would be the goal is you would see what you're looking at you'd adjust the gain frequency sample rate bandwidth that's I, I'm pretty certain that's that's the intent that should be how it works what I did was um, just to for right now thing last night is I just I edited that fl that first flow graph that I opened up and it's sitting on my desktop <clears throat> okay so you see it looks a little bit different I just went in and hard-coded some things according to the lime example that is in GR Iridium put the uh, center freak there 1622 E6 I changed the gain 30 let me think bandwidth and sample rate I sent uh, 10 E6 I changed the ZMQ out address that was 127.001 to uh, let me see if anyone's asked anything you can get it from uh... oh okay so the antenna that's hooked up is actually just outside the window here it's the older uh, RTL SDR patch antenna just that small little patch antenna and let me think so recorded I think this yeah I'm sure it's probably recorded uh, it'll probably just be on YouTube after this so anyways uh, because we want to get at the Raspberry Pi through the network here, 
I changed this. Well, you could change it to the IP address of the Pi um, that it has on the network, but I just changed it 0001 so it's listening on any interface. I save all that, and yeah, I think that's about it on the Pi. So now when I, let me think if there's anything else. No, yeah, that's about it. So now I start this flow graph. We can see, okay, everything's looking good in the bottom left hand here. This little pop-up. Oh, that's the other thing. I changed it from, to make this work, I changed it uh, options top left here. Changed it from no GUI to QT GUI. So that's running. So now let's jump over to the laptop. That's the Pi. I'm, I'm like VNC'd in like three different ways here. So that's, that's the Pi running. Now over here on the laptop. Change directory user source. You're all familiar with this. Examples. Use your favorite editor and you see the 0MQ. All I did was change the address from 127.0.0.1. I put the IP address of the Pi, which I know is dot .118 on my network here. I'm going to close this out. That's it. Now you're familiar commands here, dash D, for, you really don't need the multi, whatever it is there, because I'm, I'm pretty certain that's like defaulted by uh, nowadays. And then instead of like RTL, SDR, or whatever, got the 0MQ, pipe that out to the Python 3 parser, ZMQ, and fingers crossed, should be, should be it. And I don't know, I get varying numbers, you know, it looked better earlier, but so there you go. That's about uh, all you need to do there. Uh, let me see. VNC. Okay. So I don't know, like, how, if if the screen is uh, viewable. I didn't even think about that. Like, if this print is so small, I don't know what you all can see. To me, in this little viewing window, it looks like tiny. But uh, does that make sense? get confused on those numbers I mean I guess that looks good considering I I don't really have it aimed well and all the uh, Lime SDR actually has that uh, the bias T yeah it should be recorded I think when I end this it'll it'll save and just be available as one of the videos live videos on YouTube so yeah but it would be interesting to see um, Wi-Fi I, I don't know how that would work I wouldn't probably recommend the Pi's Wi-Fi but maybe if you had a uh, an extender or something that could, you could wire and then stream it over but uh, anyways that should be that should be good and uh, alright so have a good one I'm gonna shut this down and I'll see you all later